Hello and welcome to this unboxing of the G915 TKL from Logitech and it's the brown switches and it's the Nordic key layout. Let's start. We open. I already removed the plastic on that edge of the box and now let me try to open this tight lid or top. This tight top. It's already a big flop, a big mistake, this video. Hmm. Usually when you do this it should be easy, it should be quick. I've seen a lot of unboxing videos and this is a failure. Here is the explanation. Okay. I've removed the plastic and Ta-da! This is how it looks. Okay, it's easy. You just grab this one and you unfold. Whoops! Okay, maybe I can wait with that. I move this and I put it here. You get. Actually, I, I used this, I used another keyboard, the same um, before, and it started to fail. So I got a new one actually from Logitech. That was good service. And uh, here you have this USB mini. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like that. They like the USB C type, and I agree, but I don't actually understand why this would be bad. Um, And here you got the, the receiver. And actually, I never used this one. Only when I, I think I downloaded some update of the uh, firmware or what you call it. Some, st oh, a sticker. Okay. Okay, the most important thing. It's the keyboard itself. I've, I've actually used it a lot on other one and I like this very much. It's the best typing keyboard I ever had. I think it's even better than the Logitech MX keys which I actually have rigged right now. Uh, this one is better I think for reasons um, I will maybe tell you. The issue with my last um, keyboard of the same type was that the R button started to type double R's or sorry for that word just double R uh, when I when I pressed it once then it made two R R's and that was not nice when you had this one for typing so here you have um, the MX keys and um, the G915 below it to the left here the only thing i don't really like about it is that you need to you don't see really the letters uh, when it's completely dark you have to have some amount of light on and uh, then you need to use the firmware or what you call it the software to to adjust you can adjust the light to a very uh, sort of dim uh, white bluish light and use it on the lowest um, power level or, or uh, level of um, light and um, uh, just let them shine a little bit but of course it costs more of the battery and um, it would be better if they had done something like on the MX keys if you use this for typing because on the MX keys you don't really need to use any light uh, backlight uh, in daylight but in daylight when you use the G915 I think you still need some amount of uh, light actually because it's hard to see the letters these letters you see or these uh, <clears throat> characters uh, but the normal letters uh, you don't really see should you buy this one then? Well, I bought it a long time ago and um, I'm happy with it. But 
I also think that you could get a lot of good quality products at a lower cost. If I didn't have the money, I would probably not have um, uh, made it a priority to buy this one. I would have bought something much more, uh, much cheaper. For, for example, the K120, which I think is good for the money. And, um, and the MX keys, well, if you're gonna buy the MX keys for typing, I think you should actually try the G915. It is a very good uh, keyboard for writing books. Or essays. Or poems. It smells very good also when it's new. So take your time to enjoy the smell.